Hi, I'm Sophie and welcome to my world. What you may not know is that on my website, on Mondays, I do a little blog called You Made It, I Love It. And what I do is I scour the internet to find really fun things that I would like to make and then I share them with you. Well, one of the things that I found on Crafts by Amanda is this most adorable little thing. It's called a spoon bug. And what it is, is it's a spoon and it's turned into a little bug on a little leaf. And I'm gonna teach you how to make one that looks just like this right now. So for this project, the most important thing is a plastic spoon. So you're gonna need a plastic spoon. And I'm gonna be covering the base of my spoon here with duct tape. Now I was able to find some duct tape that actually looks like wood, but you can just use brown or you know Cheetah Works or camouflage, whatever you want. Now, these are little tiny um, silk um, leaves, and you can use these for wings if you like. I'm not going to be showing you how to use these. I'm going to use some felt instead. I'll be using felt for my wings. However, feel free to use those if you have them. I'm going to be using some little beads to make the tops of my antenna. I've got some googly eyes. I've got a Sharpie pen, and you know, if you want to go really, really simple with this little bug, you can just color on your on your um, spoon with a Sharpie pen and call it a day. That's completely fine too, but I'm gonna show you how to make an elaborate bug. Okay, you need a pipe cleaner. And what I've got here is a silk leaf that's from sort of like a, a ivy garland. And I'm gonna be using that for my leaf, but you could also make your leaf out of paper. You could make your leaf out of felt. It's really up to you. I'm gonna be using some scissors and I'm also gonna have my handy dandy glue gun. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our spoon, and in this case, I'm gonna use the blue one, and we're just gonna cover the handle part with a little bit of tape. Now, if you wanted to, and you didn't wanna use tape, Crafts by Amanda, which is how I discovered this craft, she actually just painted everything. She used white spoons, and she painted them. So she painted it with a brown acrylic paint. And you could certainly do that if you didn't want to use tape. But I'm going to be using tape because I got this really great, isn't that amazing? That's a wood grained duct tape. I'm just going to trim this at the end here so there's no sticky, like that. And that's going to be the branch. Okay, now to make my bug, what I'm going to do is take my spoon and trace it onto my felt like this. And I don't have to get too worried about it being exactly right. Just want to get the basic general shape there. Now what I'm going to do is cut this out. And I'm going to cut the top of this because this is going to become the wings. So I'm just going to cut this out like this. And unfortunately that duct tape Got all over my scissors, and so this is not as clean a cut as I normally would have. But I'm going to need the top part for his head, so I'm just going to cut this part right here. And I'm going to make these wings. I'm going to make these wings split down the middle. I'm not going to go all the way. I'm going to leave them joined just a tiny bit, and see how that makes the perfect little wings. So I'm going to actually take my hot glue right now and glue a little strip right across the top there and I'm going to attach my wings. There we go. Get rid of that extra hot glue. Okay. Now, for his antenna, I'm going to be using just a tiny bit of this what I did is I just folded that pipe cleaner into a V and I'm just going to fold the tip here of the V just a little bit. Can you see that there? I just folded it just a tiny bit to make a little base. And I'm just going to place that right there and with a little bit of hot glue, just put a little bit right there, just a tiny bit. And I'm going to attach those antenna. Now, if you want to, you can just leave your antenna the way they are, but I'm going to add some beads. One bead here, and one bead here. 
And you can add a little drop of glue there if you'd like, just to secure them. Now for his eyes, I'm going to add two more drops of glue. And one eye and two eyes. Now, you may leave your bug just like that, but I'm going to give him some legs. I'm going to go back to my pipe cleaner. I'm just going to push this down into the bowl of the spoon like that to get my legs, figure out how big I want them to be. So I'm going to make them about that big and just cut it right there. Take a little bit of glue. Now, I had that extra spoon and what I'm going to do is actually use that extra spoon to push this down in there so I don't burn myself. And now I'm going to make my second set of legs and my third set of legs. I can make my legs big or small or whatever I want. So I'm just going to add my little glue here in that bowl. And there's those legs and there's those legs. Now I can trim accordingly. Again, use that spoon, that second spoon, so you're not burning yourself. This glue is very sticky today for some reason. It's sticky glue day here in Sophie's world. Okay, I'm going to turn them over here and I can just trim these guys so they're all the same length. There we go. Now the last thing is to attach him to his leaf. So what I'm going to do is just put a little cut right here with my scissors. I'm going to fold this over so that I get a nice little cut. I'm just going to snip it just a little bit, not too much, just a little bit, just enough so I can stick through. And I'm going to add a tiny little drop of glue right here at the base just to keep it from going anywhere. Now, I suggest if you want to check out more fun ideas like this to go to craftsbyamanda.com because they're really, really fun. Or you can go to my website, sophie-world.com and look up the blog. You made it. I love it. Spoon Bugs. Isn't he cute? And there you have it. Your very own spoon bug. Now, remember, if you don't have those leaves, you can always use felt. You can just use a spoon. If you've got any of these little iridescent leaves, you can use those for your wings. And you can also use paper for your leaves. So there's really a lot of ways to do the same craft with whatever you happen to have at home. The only thing you really need is a spoon. For more fun ideas that came from the internet, come and check us out at sophie-world.com.